Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the remove background functionality that Runway ML has for videos. As you might have seen, Runway ML has a pretty large toolkit, especially for videos in its AI magic tool section. And I wanted to go over some of the main ones, even though they're not exactly brand new. And if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you to go to my playlist section and go to my playlist called Runway ML, where I have already done a walkthrough of two of its video functionalities. All right, let's get started. So what exactly is this remove background functionality and why should you care? So a lot of times when you are taking a video of yourself for YouTube or anything else, sometimes you are not in the right place. You might not be in your own studio. So you might need to take your video without having the right background or your studio setting in place. I think how this can be useful is you can still do your recording, but you can clear out the background regardless of where you are. For example, say you're in the middle of a forest or in a crowded city and you want to do a short clip recording something for your social media or YouTube. Now what most people would do is to delay their recording until they are in the proper setting. But instead you can be a bit more efficient and complete your recording regardless of the setting and just remove the background later and append that to your studio. Now for me, I think there's four different levels of video which may or may not work with this. So let me go over the four levels. The first one is an example of this lady with pretty clear background. There's not a lot of distractions. The second one is kind of similar. Removing this background would not be too hard because there's no other characters involved. But it's just that the lighting here is a bit tricky. There's a lot of shadows in the background so it might not get detected where her body ends. The next level is when there's a bunch of people in the background, there's even someone in the foreground and we're trying to extract this person out of everything else. This can be a bit harder because there's a lot of activity going on around her. And the final level is much harder and I don't think this is a good example of a video to use for this functionality. For example, if you're trying to isolate this guy standing in the middle checking his phone, it's going to be very very hard because there's so many moving objects and they're moving really really fast. So this might not even work out. So before you even get started, it's important to understand that not all kinds of videos will work with this. Personally, I think level one and two will be fairly easy to do, but you might need to do some additional masking and additional work for level three. And I don't think you should use level four at all. For today's video, I'm just gonna try level one and maybe level two. To get started, make sure you have a free Runway ML account created. This functionality is actually free up to 720p, but make sure to watch my first video if you don't have a Runway ML account yet. All right, now when you're logged into Runway ML, just click remove background. This is gonna open up this place where you can drop media from your existing assets. If you don't have anything added, you can just click upload right here and select the video you wanna upload. I'm gonna select this level one video. After that's done, just click on the video you just uploaded and click this add to timeline button on the right. This is gonna open up the video on an editor. Now on this screen, there's a bunch of things you can do. If you look on the right, there's a way to zoom in and zoom out. So if you click zoom in, it's gonna zoom in on the video. And if you click zoom out, you can go as back as you want. You can also click zoom to fit to fit this on your screen. The mask section here is what allows you to select the character you wanna keep in the video. As it's showing on the right here, click an area to start masking. So basically I wanna keep this person right here in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a mask on different parts of her body to make sure that the AI knows what I wanna keep. So I'm gonna add a mask right here on her head, on the lower part of her body, and her hair. So this will tell the AI that these are all the sections that I want to keep and everything else should be removed. So now if I do a preview, you're going to see that the character has been selected and it's going to tell you all the portions outside the mask which will be removed. Now if you do nothing else and click export transparent background, it's going to show you all the sections that have been removed and you can download this right away. Like I said, only the 720p is free. Everything else requires an upgraded version of Runway ML. I'm gonna remove this include audio with export so you can just keep this video portion. But if this is something you recorded for yourself and you wanna keep the audio, you can just click include audio with export. So after that, I'm gonna click export and this is gonna start generating this background list version of this video. Now, if I go back to my assets, I'm going to see this video being generated right here, right? So in a couple of minutes, my background removed version of the level one video is ready. I can just click download right here using these three dots. Click download. All right, let's look at the background removed version of that person. I think there's some edges of this green where there was a green field here, but mostly it's pretty good. If you compare it with this one, I think it did a pretty good job in removing the background. All right, just for fun, let me try a harder one. 
So I'm gonna go back and click remove background. And this time I'm gonna upload the level three video, which is this one. All right, I'm gonna select this right here and click add to timeline. Now, if you think you're gonna work with this actively, I recommend coming to this section right here, which says shortcuts, where you can use a bunch of keyboard shortcuts to do undos and redos, to do zooms and to toggle your timeline and go to the next frame or previous frame. So let me start with adding a mask right here, right here and right here. So it has now recognized what this character is and it has even eliminated this portion right here where it's touching the shoulder of this other lady. And let me do a preview to see how well it operates throughout the length of the video. You see how this shoulder is almost coming onto her body, but the mask persists because it knows it belongs to this other person. Now, if you want to refine this masking a little bit, you can select specific sections to include or exclude. Now, my video generation did not require it, but if you wanted to exclude this person, if the mask somehow tries to take that over, you can exclude that from your generation. Now, if you want me to do a different video showing all the refinements and exclusions and inclusions of the mask, please add a comment. But for now, I think it did a pretty good job with the removal. If you click on this mode and select preview, you can see what got removed. Let me try this preview again, but without the background. Now you see how it looks like if the background would not exist. You might have seen comedians do videos where they place themselves in different settings. I think this can be used really well there. All right, now that my removal is done, I can just click export right here and click export with 720p. I can go back to my asset page and track the export. All right, I have my background removed version of the level three ready to go. I'm gonna click download right here. All right, so this is the original video of this person in a store talking to this lady in the foreground with some people walking behind her. And this is what it looks like without the background. I honestly thought I would have needed to do some masking or fine tuning, but I never had a need to do that. But like I mentioned, if you want me to do a video where I do some more fine tuning with the background removal, please add a comment. But that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till my next video, thank you so much.